students today we are working on the synthesis of phenacetin from acetaminophen so we will be starting with the compound acetaminophen which is sold under the commercial name Trilanol. Uh, we will be reacting this compound with a base uh, our base will be potassium carbonate and our electrophile for this williamson ether synthesis will be ethyl iodide the goal is to deprotonate our acetaminophen's alcohol and uh, allow the oxide to do an SN2 reaction on ethyl iodide. Once that is accomplished, we will generate the compound known as phenacetin. All right, we are starting this experiment by uh, crushing up some extra strength Tylenol. So uh, I will go ahead and measure 0.22 grams of the uh, crushed Tylenol. All right, so now I'm moving on to my potassium carbonate. All right, so next up, we are measuring 0.28 grams of potassium carbonate, and we will also add it to our ground water glass. Okay, now that I have my two solids, I will begin adding my liquids. All right, the first liquid I am adding is butanone, so this is going to be our solvent for the chemical reaction. And I'm going to go ahead and add three milliliters to the round bottom flask. I'm going to go ahead and use the butanone as well to um, kind of rinse the edges of the inside part of the round bottom flask to make sure that I don't have any solids there. Okay, so the next liquid to add would be the ethyl iodide. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and grab a orange. And so for this one, we're going to be adding uh, 0.28 milliliters. And now our apparatus is ready for reflux. Okay, so I have a um, hot plate already set up at a, about medium temperature here. And if you notice, I have a water jacket condenser, which I'm going to bring down so it'll be easier to view. The one thing I'm going to add to uh, my reflux condenser is a cap and an O-ring so that I'll be able to attach my round bottom flask uh, with a screw top. So I am adding a cap. Now my cap has a hole so that it will be able to fit on the water jacket. And then I'm adding a um, rubber gasket or o-ring and that will prevent my cap from sliding forward. So I'm going to go ahead and just support the piece there and see now that my cap does not slide forward. Okay, now I'm ready to go ahead and attach the round bottom glass. All right, now we have a nice secure apparatus that I can use for refluxing. Okay, now we do want the round bottom glass to touch the hot plate here and uh, we'll go ahead and adjust the heat slightly so that we can start to get a reflux and some stirring. Right. And then also if you notice my water jacket is set up to um, you know a pump system and so we will have water come in from the bottom to provide some nice cool cooling for our reflux here and then it will drain to the top. Uh, the water pump inside of our container here allows us to recycle our water uh, throughout the reflux. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. All right. And uh, once I see my liquid starting to uh, boil and actually a reflux, refluxing means that it is boiling and recondensing where we get to the cold water area, I will um, go ahead and start my time for one hour. All right, so next up we are uh, going to acquire an infrared for our acetaminophen sample. So this is our infrared machine and it is hooked up to a computer display. I'm going to go ahead and ask it to run a background for us. Currently as it's scanning for background, notice that I have the apparatus here up and um, I'll explain in just a moment what I will do in order to actually scan the product. Okay, so next up, uh, we are going to go ahead and ask the machine to measure a sample. Now we're going to go ahead and add in a name here. So I will type in acetaminophen and I'm going to add in a date. Okay, now before I click OK, I'm going to go ahead and add the sample to the, uh, to the sample zone. So I'm going to take a small scoop of acetaminophen from my scintillation bottle here, and it doesn't have to be very much. I'm going to go ahead and place it right on the crystal. And now 
I will press my solid using the pressing arm. Okay, now we can go ahead and click OK and request that the sample be read. Okay, this is looking good so far. Uh, at the moment, the picture you see is inverted. Uh, we will put it in the correct direction as soon as it's done scanning. Okay, wonderful. So now the scan is complete, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, process our compound here. So I'm going to go to the baseline correction. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and absorb it into and go into transmittance. There we go. Okay, now uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some regions uh, read for us. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get some identifying areas here. Okay, that's good. I'm going to add a second region. Threshold looks good. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Okay, so this is our infrared of acetaminophen. I'm going to go ahead and um, email this uh, information to myself and be able to post it on our website.